Hello and welcome to the Be Glad movement. My name's Pollyanna and I am on a mission to bring you as many stories as possible of good coming out of bad and reasons to be glad. And today I'm joined by Liz. Hi Liz. Hi. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, Liz, I'm just going to let you dive straight in and start your story from the beginning. So fire away. Okay, well, um, my daughter was born uh, February last year. She was five weeks early, um, and uh, that was pretty much fine, to be honest. Um, and then within a couple of days, she was diagnosed with a heart murmur, um, mm. and uh, that led to heart failure within uh, about, th about three days old, I think she must have been. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit of a, a shock to be honest but they, they did were brilliant in the hospital they did loads of tests for her um they got her really nice and stable and uh, found out that she had a significant um bsd which was a hole in the lower chambers of the heart right. um, as well as a small asd in the upper chambers um and uh, a pda which is another hole elsewhere as well she was like a Calendar, bless her. <laughs> That's a lot of acronyms for you to have to deal with. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's trying mm. to remember it all. She's she's got the VSD, the ASD, the PDA, uh, and now she's recently been diagnosed with PVS, pulmonary vein stenosis, as well. Poor little mite. But she's strong as they come, um, and she, uh, after all of her meds and getting everything balanced, um, she was out of hospital within two weeks, um, and she was pretty much stable until about five months when she had open heart surgery wow. um, which was terrifying <laughs> I'm not you can't sugarcoat it it was scary it was scary you must have been terrified like I'm, I've got a son myself and that when you um give birth you're suddenly handed this tiny little person to keep alive and so not only did she come five weeks early but to then three days after she was born to have all of that information thrown at you with all your hormones going everywhere, that's a lot to deal with. And yeah. then at five months, she actually had a, a, the operation. Yeah. Christ. Yeah, it was, I, I think it's only recently that both me and my husband have sort of processed it. I think we went into very much autopilot. Like we, we there's no escape. You have to deal with it. You have to, Sure. There's, wait, there's no way of avoiding it really yeah um, but uh, no when she had her surgery I think within um maybe three or four days of coming out of the intensive care and getting all of her drains and her things out of her she you could see a massive difference already um she was she bounced straight back she was putting weight on she was feeding again oh, um, and it was it was just superb absolutely it felt like it I was back in February again when I just had her and I'd, I'd finally got my baby back right. which was brilliant oh, absolutely lovely. fantastic but uh, yeah it's it's been stressful but um we both me and my husband always sit there and say that we wouldn't have it any other way because she was IVF as well so that's what we take as our big positive we wouldn't have had any children at all um no. if it wasn't for the ivf and matilda's what was given to us so we, we're really thankful for that that's fantastic so yeah you obviously wanted her so badly it was almost like it was almost like the universe was giving you a, a final test of your yeah exactly <laughs> prove it yeah <laughs> Wow, you've coped with so much because I know how stressful that journey is, the whole IVF journey as well, from friends that have gone through it. So, yeah, goodness me, what it a was trial. Everything all at once. But, I mean, the hospitals, both hospitals that we've been in, which is Nottingham and then Glenfield, they've been absolutely amazing. They're superb. They've got a fantastic support network and um, they were there for us. We had a family room in the hospital, so we didn't have to leave her and... Um, the support that they gave was just second to none. It was superb. So that's that's the other thing that we take from it as well is that we've got a whole network now of of um, other mums and parents who've had these heart children and had 
the same difficulties we can connect with them um, and we will try and do our the fundraising that we can for Heartlink to try and just give back a little bit of the support yeah. That seems to be um, a quite a sort of common theme of people that go through um, hardships like yourself, that a support network of people that have been through similar is a massive um, godsend to sort of share your experiences and not feel like you're the only one going through that. Yeah, absolutely. I think you can feel isolated. You feel like nobody else understands. Um, I don't think that's a fair enough reaction, really, when it's something like that. But having no people around that you can speak to and say well what do you think of this or how did you deal with this it's it helps to get it out there and it does make you feel so much better awesome awesome so when you first got in touch with me when you first sort of heard about the b guard movement you sent me a really moving video that your husband had made of when you guys were in the hospital and yeah. explained that you were now raising money for um heart what is it heart live did you heart link Heart link, sorry. Yeah. yeah do you want right. to tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Because I think you're going off to climb Scarfell Pike or something. Like that. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we're going off to the Lake District to climb Scarfell Pike um, with Matilda strapped to Steve's back in a backpack carrier <laughs> and right. the dog at our feet. Um, and I'm terrified. I hate climbing. I hate heights. Oh, but no. we're determined to do <laughs> to do it. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, just get as much funds raised for the heart link as we can awesome awesome well, I, obviously i'm going to share the when i post this video i'll share the links to your um to your just giving page so that more people can donate um that's awesome so yeah when you reflect i mean obviously you're still going through this as such and so for me it's quite a big thing because it's it's not just that you come out the other end and you can reflect, you, you are still going through this now. So yeah. I'm really impressed with how positive and um, sort of, yeah, well, just how positive you've been about it all and the way you've kept going and soldiering on through it. It's really Thank awesome. You. Thank you. I just, I, I think just looking at Matilda and seeing how much she's improved, it's, it's such a boost. And I sit there and think it's all worth all the stress, all the the worry. It's worth it just to see her chuck a pudding across the room or something ridiculous. <laughs> all those things that other parents maybe moan about a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> In the grand scale of things, it's nothing, is it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I wish you all the very, very best of luck with your climb. Um, so you're heading off tomorrow. When are you actually yeah. doing the challenge? Um, well, the plan was Saturday, but looking at the weather, um, I think we're probably going to go Sunday instead because we'll try and do it without rain if possible. <laughs> yeah, a little one and a dog. You don't really want to be up a mountain in the rain. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fingers oh. crossed. But yeah, no, I think I think Sunday. So it's a special treat as Father's Day for Steve as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lucky, lucky guy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, all the best with that. And um, yeah, I think it's fantastic that, that, that something that has obviously put you through a lot of stress, you, you turned it around and you're now, like you say, giving back to all the wonderful people that have helped you guys. And isn't it wonderful that these people do exist, you know? Yeah, so. Exactly. I don't know what we would have done if we didn't have that, that kind of support and that kind of help around. It's, it, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Really good. Awesome. Well, I, w I really do wish you all the best with that. And um, I look forward to maybe we can do like a catch up afterwards and you can tell us how your event adventure went. So uh, Absolutely. Yeah, no, I would. I'd love to do that. I'm sure there'll be plenty of updates and falls <laughs> and hilarity, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to fall. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's the hope. No guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure there's going to be other people that maybe have literally been in the same position or are now in the same position as you were those three days after Matilda was born. So hopefully if they'll see this, they'll get a little bit of hope from it. And uh, yeah, yeah so thank, I hope you, so. thank you so much for sharing. And I'll share the links to your um, Just Giving page. So, uh, so yeah. 
If you like this video, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get updates when um, new videos are posted. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And please do get in touch if you've got a story um, of good coming out of bad and reasons to be glad. Uh, because I really do believe that your stories will speak to someone. Your voice, you, coming from a different person, it does help to... Um, to hear your your story and your voice you will touch a certain someone in a certain way that you'll probably never know about but I really do feel that it does all help so please do subscribe and follow and get in touch and we'll look forward to seeing you in another episode many thanks yay, yay. <laughs>